that last great scorer comes to mark against your name, he'll count not if you won or lost, but how you played the game. That was one of the favorite uh, quotes that my father used to use. But let's talk about how we played the game. How have you played the game? How do you play the game? How do you measure up against your dreams? <clears throat> Can you still remember your dreams? Have you achieved them? Little exercise. Think back to when you were about 10. Okay, what did you want to become? Where did you want to live? You wanted a big house at the sea. You wanted your own aeroplane. You wanted to become a traffic cop. <laughs> Didn't make sense, but anyway. And you moved on and you wanted to get married and have kids or maybe not. But you had dreams. And then you get older, you're about 13, 14, 15, and those dreams shift, don't they? Now you want to become a pop star or a model or something like that, or a super sports star or something. Business tycoon, maybe? I don't know. And then we get older, we go to we finish school, and the pressure of school and pressure of the rat race starts convincing us. So before we want to build skyscrapers, we settle for becoming a, I don't know, even a pharmacist or an accountant or a lawyer. And we let go of our dreams slowly, slowly because of pressures of life and because of uh, um, convenience, you know. We turn around and we go to the pressures because we now want the lifestyle, not the life. And we lose focus of what our values are. We lose focus of what our dreams are. And I think that's sad because then we find people doing things that they don't like. And then they become vicious. We all do. We all do the same. And we start becoming cynical. When do we become cynical? When we're young, everything is a bright, brand new world. And you look at kids today, even as crazy as they are, you see the same optimism, the same jubil jubilation, the same zest for life. And they can kill the world. And then somehow, as we go through life, we lose our dreams, we lose our focus, we lose our, po our purpose, we have disappointments, and we start settling. We start settling for what we can have and become cynical because the world is not giving us our dreams or what we wanted in the first place. And we forget that we have been uh, uh, colluding. We have allowed ourselves to drift away from our dreams. We haven't stayed focused. The people that do stay focused get their dreams. Elon Musk, uh, <coughs> um, movie stars, I mean, obviously, all of Bill Gates and all these normal quoted people, but all of them, smaller ones as well, you know, guys in social media that have gone and pushed the extra mile and actually made mega ripples. So I think we need to go every now and again refocus, go think of your dreams and think of the journey you've taken and how it's actually moved away from that, how you've diverged from what your purpose was. What is your purpose? Have you thought what your purpose in life is? Is what you're doing your purpose, is that what you mapped out for yourself when you started? Did you sit and actually orchestrate what you wanted or just what came up? I think this is what we have. We're in the right place at the right time for sometimes the wrong thing. And it impacts on our life when we don't try and get back onto, onto the road. We go with a small path drifting off. We find ourselves in uncharted territory and scary situations. I think it's important to think every now and again how you're playing the game. Play it from the heart, play it with integrity, play it with honesty, but play it with a vision of giving more back to life and getting more out of life than just taking what comes and, you know, going with the flow. That's not what it's about. Life is difficult at times, but it can be, it should be, Difficult according to your terms and within the realms of your passion. Have a lack of day.